hello good day welcome back my name is Fred so this is example 2 alright so now uh, what is the total height of this object now this is 15 15 plus 50 that's um, 65 alright so the total height is going to be 65 then the total dimension to the left is 50 as you can see 50 then the total dimension to the right is 75 alright as you can see 75 so you're going to uh, draw a box of um, 65 by 75 by 50 so I'll do that real quick okay so here it is now the thickness is 15 as you can see 15 15 15 so what I'll do is I've already measured 15 here so this is my 15 that's 1.5 15 here okay so I'll just transfer lines from here I can also measure 15 here and measure 15 here but I would rather transfer it's the same thing okay I'll draw this line and um, transfer lines okay so I've drawn these lines now right so I'll just quickly complete this part here with thick lines so I wouldn't bother I wouldn't bother uh, coming back to draw this part I just want to get it done with okay so now let's focus on how to draw this now do not forget this object you're seeing here okay will definitely be somewhere here going up so now the top this top all right we already have um, um, a space for it that's this rectangle you are seeing here okay so this top here will definitely be here while the bottom you know this bottom is actually a circle but you won't see the other part and we don't show hidden details in isometric so this bottom you're seeing here will be on this surface so i'm going to complete um this surface by transferring the lines necessary to do that okay so i'm going to transfer lines here all right and i'm going to transfer this one here good now this exact surface you're seeing here now this is the base so for the base of this cylinder okay it will rest on this base here while the surface the top here we align with this top so how am i going to uh, bring the whole of that out now uh, watch very closely all right so now the height of the cylinder is 50 now this is this box automatically it is 50 Okay, so this is 50. Now remember, 50 plus um, 15, that's 65. Okay, so this is 50. So this box is already 50. So we're going to what track the uh, location of this cylinder, okay, on this um, cuboid you're seeing here because the cylinder is resting on the cuboid. So now we have the dimensions here. Now from this distance to this distance is what, 25? I hope you can see that clearly. Yes, 25. All right, so we're going to measure 25 from this point, okay? We indicate 25. So... This is 25, that's 2.5. Alright, so it is the exact same point at the top. Here, alright, so I also measure 25 from here. So that's my 25, alright, good. So, I will transfer lines to that 25 thin lines okay so this is 25 so I would draw thin lines first that's thin lines I also do the same thing at the top there thin lines okay 
Now do not confuse this line with this one. This one is for the base. This one is drawn against um, the top surface. Okay. All right. So now what is the distance from this point here? It's also 25. So I will measure 25 here. So this is my 25 here. If you like, you can also measure 25 here. But I just like to transfer my lines using um, set square. So this is also 25. That's the center. All right. So I will draw lines. I will transfer lines. So I align my set square with this line here. Okay, and transfer lines here. And also transfer line to the top. I'm drawing both circles at the same time, so I don't want to waste time. So that's it. All right. Now the base of the circle will be at this bottom here, while the top of this circle will be at the top here. So I'm drawing both of them at the same time. Okay, so the diameter of the circle is what 40, as you can see. Okay. So that means I, I'm going to need a rhombus of what 40 by 40, both for the top and at the bottom. Do you understand? All right. So how do you do that? Now you can just measure it on this line. So let this be the center, the midpoint of the circle. All right. I'm talking about this midpoint here and the midpoint at the bottom. Though you won't see it. Okay. So I will align since it is 40. That means I will measure 20 right, 20 left to give me 40. So I will align my ruler like this. So do not forget this is a midpoint, all right? So this is 20. 20 plus 20 is what 40. So half of it is 20. Half of it is another 20. From this point here, it's another 20, making it what the whole of it 40. So I'll do the same thing here. I will align my ruler like this. So from this midpoint here is 20. And from this midpoint here is another 20. So that is 40. So the next thing I'll do is, sorry. I will transfer lines now. You can transfer any of the lines really. Okay. You can decide to take it from this part or from this part. So align your ruler like this. All right. Transfer lines here. Draw very thin lines across. Transfer it to this point where you have the other point. Draw thin lines across. Then come over and align your C square like this again. All right. So transfer lines to this point, this one, where you measure 20 from the center. Okay. Join. Transfer to this other point where you measured um, 20. And you draw line. So what can you see? You can see what? A rhombus. So do the same thing for the top. Okay, so I've already done that. Now join the longest diagonal of the rhombus. Remember, if you don't know what's going on here, see the previous videos on isometric circles and the first example, this example that I treated um, to help you understand. So you join the longest diagonal thin lines. Just do the same thing for the top. Join the longest diagonal thin lines. So what you do next is... Okay, let me just... Okay, let me focus on the bottom first. Now choose any of these angles, any of these points. Okay, anyone. So connect here to the center, this center, this point here. Okay. Now you can choose to draw the line or just cut this diagonal. Okay. From this same point here, connect to this midpoint here. All right. And you discover that it will cut. Now these two lines now will cut the diagonal at this point and this point. All right. So the same thing will happen to the top. Connect here to this center. You connect that same point to this center. Now do not make the mistake of connecting this point to this. No. We are focusing on the room boss. Alright. So these are our point of what focus. And these are our point of focus. Okay, so let us start um, drawing the the ellipse. So you need to here. Needle here at this point of intersection, then you stretch to this what point here. 
just a minute all right I hope you can see that so you stretch here if it is touching here automatically it should touch here so you draw an arc with thick lines all right so you need to here also stretch to this midpoint there and draw an arc now let me remind you once again when drawing the arc like I told you do not exceed this midpoint at this midpoint in other words do not exceed not draw it all the way down no stop at this midpoint here the same thing stop at this midpoint then what you do next is there's my pair of compass okay so you needle at this point here stretch to the midpoint here all right if it is touching this midpoint it should also touch this midpoint then draw the arc do not exceed the midpoint once again all right then you needle here all right stretch to this any of the midpoint if it is touching one it will touch the other all right probably made it's a little mistake here but it's okay now that's for the top this top here all right so let's draw the bottom very simple so now remember it's half a circle you won't be able to see the other side so you're only going to draw half of it so needle here at this point of intersection all right stretch to this point here now draw to touch just the um the diagonal stop here on this diagonal okay stop there because it's half all right stop there do not exceed the center then also needle here all right stretch to this center here and stop there all right stop there then you need to here all right stretch to this half this midpoint here all right if it is touching one it should touch the other all right can you see that all right so what you do next is you see this diameter they are intersecting this arc at this point and at this point same thing here this diameter intersecting the arc at this point and at this point so you connect those points with a straight line connect this point of intersection and to sorry to this point with a straight line connect this point of intersection to this point with a straight line and that gives you what the cylinder so now you know you're definitely not going to see part of the what of the cuboid you have so you are going to stop just draw the visible part only so it's definitely going to end or stop here at this point so that's it all right then you draw this to stop here okay so this is it this is the object that you've been asked to to project so that's it so what you do next is um, your dimension. Okay, so you dimension like this. All right, so that's it for, for now. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also recommend these videos and hit the like button as well. All right, see you next time.